we're gonna learn how to do nice buttons for user interface so let's go ahead and create a circle press control key to make sure that it's around and now we're gonna select different color and then uh, select a gradient now the gradient is important that we don't use transparent part of the gradient and the reason is because you're gonna put another copy of this circle on, the, on top so you need to make sure that the gradient is uh, is white or whatever background you decide to use so select the gradient and then set it to white and make sure there's no transparency once this is done use the gradient tool and since the light will be coming from the top want to make it darker on the bottom and lighter on the top now we use control D to create second copy of it and the control D is used so that we can lock those two copies together use the line function to align both of them together now select the top circle and use the gradient tool in the opposite direction so we want it darker on the top and lighter on the bottom as you can see we already have some resemblance of a button now select the top layer and adjust the blur effect so right now it's zero we're going to go and increase it to about eight nine or whatever number makes it look good for you and now we have a perfect button now we can adjust the colors just by selecting the top circle and remember we use the uh, control D function so they're tied together so we can just select the different colors and both of top and bottom will adjust at the same time so this will allow you to create buttons of different colors different look and feel let's go ahead and make it gray and we'll use it gray and now we're going to adjust it the dimension of it just slightly so to get a little bit different look so we're going to select both top and bottom circle and squeeze it from the bottom as you notice that the gradient also changed so we're going to go ahead and remove the blur first and you see there's a little bit wider on the left and right and a little bit less on the on the top and bottom so we're going to squeeze it a little bit down so we have approximately the same distance across the whole button select both objects and then, then align them together then we go back and select the uh, center object and blur it about eight nine now we have to go back and adjust the gradient so adjust the gradient top one and the bottom one and we also need to adjust gradient for the bottom circle and now it looks great and that's how you have another button let's go ahead and uh, copy paste uh, using control C control V as you see the uh, gradient changed now some of this can be adjusted uh, by default settings that you have in your program so um, different settings will create different effects but that's what I have setting on mine so we're gonna go adjust it so it looks approximately the same there we go so now we have uh, similar buttons and we're gonna go back to edit mode and change the button to a different color So as you can see you can create one button and then easily adjust to different colors.